Hey guys, what's going on? Just hanging out in the back here with the dogs. Uh, we finally got this area fully fenced in so they can enjoy it a bit. As you can see, it's a pretty big space. Um, if you go back, you can see my other videos where um, you know, it wasn't fenced in yet and I was just walking back here with Broly. And then this little area right here is where we did the deer feeding video. Uh, again, we just opened it up and now we have the whole area. Um, and kind of what our plans are moving forward here is we're going to set up a little divider here. Right? And we're going to have a gate. So there'll be the one yard, a buffer zone, gate and divider, and then this yard. Um, and what we got going on over here is we're going to set up some dog runs. They are going to be 6 by 12 Going to have two dogs in each, uh, so to give you a little idea, take Nurgle and Ruka there. You know, it's a pretty good area of space. Um, it's better than crates. And we're going to have two dogs in each, like I said. And actually, that's one of the pairings we're going to do, or groupings we're going to do is these two. Because they get along really well. Scarlet, no. And th this wood pile will be taken care of, along with that other fencing you saw over there. Scarlet, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. And basically what we're going to do first here is we're going to get some dig guards put in. Um, so the dogs can't, like, dig out of the uh, fenced-in area because they do like to dig. They were digging right here. Uh, we're going to use cattle panel like this. Uh, it's pretty sturdy stuff versus like even the chain link or the hog wire we use what are you guys doing and once we have the uh dig guards put in then we'll put up the other panels and the gates and these two will be done and then we're gonna have a third one here it's gonna come out the same dimension six by twelve um, two dogs in them. They've been just pulling at that wood pile all day. You know, dogs will be dogs. And then we're going to have another two dogs in there. And our pairings, like I said, well, I already told you about Nurgle and Ruka. They get along really well. They're very sweet with each other. Uh, they don't really ever play too rough. So there's no concern about it injury or like accidental injury or maybe getting mad at each other um and then and one of them will have scarlet and lucian these two knuckleheads <laughs> and reason we're doing them is because they're already a mated pair um not that they couldn't like mate with another dog but you know they're comfortable with each other they play nice for the most part. Um, and rather than do it Rolly and R Scarlet, um, if you guys have siblings, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, sometimes when you're playing rough, one of them can accidentally hurt the other one, and then the other one wants to hurt the other one back. Same thing when you're wrestling with your siblings. Uh, you know, one of you accidentally hits the other one too hard in the rib. And the other one gets mad and wants to hurt you back. And you got a fight on your hands. Or a scuffle, anyway. And Broly and Scarlet have done that before. Um, so I'm going to put Broly with Mayhem. They're pretty gentle with each other. Um, and we've pretty much just got to figure out... Not that it matters too much, but we'll probably have Lucian and Scarlet this one. Broly Mayhem this one. Ruka Nurgle this one. When, it's, when they're up. Um, it'll also help when the girls go into heat. We can separate the girls better from the boys. Uh, you know, on days like today. Uh, if When the girls aren't in heat, for example. I'll wait for that loud truck to go by. Uh, when the dogs aren't in heat, for example, we can have the dogs out here on a nice day like today. You know, partly cloudy, nice sunshine, nice cool breeze. Um, 
you know, while we, if we need to work on something in the house or we're doing one-on-one -on -one training or we go to work, you know, the dogs don't have to be in their crates. They can be out here and still be in a safe containment where they're not going to hurt, hurt themselves or hurt something else or, because they all have pretty high prey drive. So it's just a nice safe containment where they can be in for a part of the time. And when the girls are in heat, uh, you know, we'll have the two yards and that divider with the buffer zone. So if the girls are in heat, we can have the girls out here, for example. And if the boys are inside, they can come outside, use the bathroom without being able to get to the girls. And the girls can't get to the boys. And the girls can still be out here, hang out, go to the bathroom, all that stuff. Um, Lucian, what are you doing? Uh, and yeah, like I was saying, all the fencing there is going to be used and cleaned up. It's, we kind of just got done with this the other day, so we're just, you know, getting it cleaned up and we've got to get this wood pile cleaned up. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to having it all finally done. And then once it is... I will probably do another update video on it. Alright guys, take care. Say goodbye to the doggies. And I'll catch you later.